In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Archon's Toolbox to start modding Fable 2. For a mod creation tutorial, either watch my Mod From Scratch playlist or read the included mod authoring text file. Before we start, you'll need a compatible version of the game. Currently, there are two base versions supported, though this list may expand. The standard version, and the Game of the Year or Platinum Hits version, they're the same thing. If you're on Xenia, these are shown as 1.0 or 1.4 for normal, and 10.1 or 10.1.1 for Game of the Year, depending on title updates. Localized versions of the game may not work, for example the Chinese or Russian versions, but I don't have copies to confirm this. Before we do anything, the game must be in the XEX format. If you have an ISO or any other format without access to the game's files themselves, you'll need to convert it. I'll leave a link to a video that shows you how to do this in the description. It shouldn't take more than two minutes. Now we'll begin. Download the manager and extract the zip file somewhere. The download may look different in the video because I haven't finalized it yet. Go into the manager folder and run the Archon's toolbox executable. Here I would highly recommend choosing yes and reading through the very short help section. The debug window may pop up automatically. This is only used for debugging the application and can be closed freely and reopened from the settings menu. The first thing we need to do is patch our game to load the framework. Click manage installation at the top right. Click Choose Folder and navigate to your Games folder. Then click Select Folder. Now click Install Manager. If you're repeating this step, you may get a message mentioning Directory Manifest Forced. Click Yes. Close the installation window. The manager will now automatically start when you load into a save file or start a new game. Of course, it's not going to do much on its own, so let's add a mod. I've included some of my own with the manager download. I recommend the debug menu mod because it's as simple to remove as it is to add. It's also super handy if you want to take the camera for a spin. To install a mod, click Install from Zip at the top. Navigate to the mods, which should be included with the mod manager download, and double click the debug menu mod zip. You can also install multiple mods at a time by selecting them with Shift or Control click. Immediately, you should see the mod appear in the mod list, but it will be greyed out. This means the mod's files have been installed to the game, but the mod is disabled, so it won't do anything. Double click it, or right click it, and click Enable. Also, make sure you read each mod's description. There may be very important information in there. In the case of the debug menu, it'll tell you the controls. Saving changes to our mod list might be a bit buggy, so let's close the manager to make sure. Now all we do is load into the game, whether it's a new game or a save file. And there we go. The manager has loaded, and the debug menu should be accessible by pressing LB and A. The framework also has a mod configuration menu. You can access the mod configuration menu by pressing LB and X, which is subject to change. The mod configuration menu lets you interact with mods that have their own menus. A mod should tell you in its description visible from the manager whether it has its own menu. Despite its name, the mod configuration menu isn't just for configuring mods. Mods can add their own buttons in there that do anything, which is why you should read the descriptions. Now the controls for the mod configuration menu are a bit weird. To go to the next page, press B. To close a menu, click Leave Menu on the first page in the first slot. To conveniently close the menu completely, just click the right stick and click Leave Menu. Uninstalling and disabling mods might be a bit weird, so might changing the current game installation. If something goes horribly wrong with the mod manager, specifically the application, do the following. Close the mod manager, that's important. Delete the mod manager folder in your game at Data Scripts Mod Manager. Then reopen the mod manager, go to Manage Installation, and click Update, Runner, or Install Manager. This should fix most weird issues, but it'll cause the manager to forget which mods are installed. After you do this, all of your mods will show as uninstalled, they'll be highlighted as red. Just double click them, and they will be re-enabled. And that should be everything. If you encounter a bug, error, or crash, please create an issue in the Archon's Toolbox GitHub repository. If you get stuck, leave a comment or send a message to the Mod Manager channel in my Discord server. If you want to support my efforts and receive early access to some of my mods in return, consider joining my Patreon. Links to my server and Patreon are in the description. And of course, to my patrons Witchbitch 2.0 and Wintilda, thank you both very much. Thanks for watching.